ITN's Penny Marshall and her camera crew were the first to reach Timisoara. The gateway to Timisoara, and behind it the town which first dared to challenge President Ceausescu's regime. First the children ran to greet us, bringing us news their parents had just told them. Lorries hooted in celebration. Exuberant citizens welcoming us to share their newfound hope. After a week of terror, they talked of liberation. Even the smallest child found voice. ITN was the first television crew to arrive, confirmation for the people that change had really come. ITN, television. At their graveyard, more people were gathering. They claimed some of the victims from the shooting had been buried here in a mass unmarked grave. Now they were digging them up. They claimed this was the proof of their massacre. We saw the bodies of 30 young men, and as these, the poorer people of the town, prayed, they alleged thousands more had been burnt to cover up the atrocity. <laughs> They said their tears were for those who'd not lived to see this day. As night fell, Timisoara's citizens took to the streets. In what seemed like just a few minutes, thousands had gathered, their singing drowning the memory of gunfire. And out of this political struggle on the balcony, a new reformist group emerged, virgin leaders calling themselves the Romanian Democratic Front. But tonight, the crowds only knew their old enemy. We have no fear, they shouted, proud of their fight, even of their dead. It's very wonderful. We are not afraid of security. <laughs> no, not afraid of security. No. We fight from Saturday night. We fight all the time. Sunday night. This Bo Bo with uh, army. And, the, uh, we, the don't, we don't need this because uh, we are not uh, hooligan and. Uh, no fascists! We are no, no fascists. fascists! No hooligan! We are people! We are people! Working, Working people yes. we are! And I want to say to all the world be with us! Don't let! Ceausescu's security, kill us, kill us. It was the army here who eventually gave the people their victory, throwing down their weapons and joining them on Wednesday. Tonight, they were with them on the balcony. And then, joining them, throwing out bread and wine to the jubilant crowds. The last time the people of Timisoara gathered in this square, they were shot at. Tonight, they've come back to claim their victory. There are calls here for political reform, but above all, the feelings of the people behind me are one of enormous relief that President Ceausescu has gone. Penny Marshall, News at 10, Timoshwara in Romania.